Hey, what's up, guys? I just got done watching UFC 134. It was an awesome card, I gotta say. Prelims were kind of uneventful, besides, like, Eric Silva's knockout of Luis Ramos. For the prelim on t on uh, Spike, Husmar Pajares versus Dan Miller. Pretty good fight, first round, you know, started out. Husmar and Dan going back and forth. Husmar actually head-kicked Dan, knocked him down, punched him a couple of times, and for some reason he thought the fight was over. He turned around, put his hands up, and jumped on the cage, and then when he realized the fight was still going, he uh, had to go back, and uh, Dan Miller actually dropped him right after that, and it was pretty back and forth first round. In the second round, Husmar basically dominated. Third round, close. Basically went, it was 29-27, 30-27, 30 30-25. Next fight, Tiago Tavares, Spencer Fisher. Tiago Tavares, TKO'd Spencer Fisher in the second round. Kind of basically dominated him, you know. Spencer Fisher's done, I think. Kind of sad to see. He was a dangerous guy back in the day. You know, it was a good fight. And then, uh, first fight on the main card was Luis Kane versus Stanislav Nedkov. Went the way I expected. They struck back and forth. Luis Kane was getting better in some, uh, better the better of a couple engagements. Then Stanislav caught him with one and ended up just TKOing him. You know, hopefully Stanislav will have a pretty successful future in the UFC because pretty entertaining fighter to watch. And then, of course, the next fight, Antonio Minotaro Nogueira versus Brendan Schaub. Nogueira went out and proved the world wrong, saying he's too old, he's injured. You know, he knocked out Brendan Schaub, even though... People were expecting it the other way around. Pretty cool to see him win. Didn't expect him to knock him out. You know, I think Brennan Schaub might have got been like a top 10 heavyweight. Well, he is a top 10 heavyweight, I think, but he probably would have been really close to a title shot if he had won this fight. You know, Schaub was the favorite. No gear and knocked him out. I think possibility, you know, Brennan Schaub doesn't have the best chin. Both his losses are by knockout. And then, uh, you know... Nogueira, they went back and forth a little bit, even striking, and then Nogueira caught him against the fence, hit him with a good combination, dropped him straight on his face, and then KO'd him. Next fight, you know, Ross Pearson, Edson, Barboza, you know, I didn't expect this to be so close. Ross Pearson, you know, he kept going at him. He was just, he kept going forward, didn't stop going forward. Edson was landing the more powerful shots, a lot of spinning kicks. I think, you know, it, c it was a really close fight. It was a split decision, you know. I guess some people thought Ross won. Some people thought Edson won. I thought Edson won, but I really could have called it a draw, too. You never know how, like, the judges are going to see it, but I thought Edson won just because he did more damage. But that's one thing I think he needs to work on, too, is he needs to stop backing up because people are going to use that against him. And then he's going to end up losing some fights because I thought he was going to win a unanimous decision, but... It was it was close, really close. Next fight, you know, one of the fights, one of the two fights I got wrong on this whole card, kind of disappointing for me. I'm a big Forrest Griffin fan. Tough to see him get knocked out, especially when he was close to getting closer to getting his belt back, possibly. You know, Shogun caught him with some good shots, dropped him basically, just kept punching him, hammer fisting him until the ref stopped it. Nothing much to say about that. Uh, I guess they're right about what they say. One fight, Shogun's injured, he looks like crap, but the next fight he'll come back and he'll knock someone out. You know, he's still, I say, uh, I don't know, I, I, I'm i just trying to think of who he should fight next, you know. Maybe Machida Shogun 3, but Machida's probably going to be fighting someone soon. Uh, who knows? I'd like to see that fight since Shogun's, you know, just recently fought, he didn't get too hurt in this fight. Machida fought like 129, so he's bound to have a fight in the next one or two months. You know, Forrest Griffin, back to the drawing board. Who knows? He, you can get a good fight out of Forrest from anyone. I just, I'm just trying to think of who you should fight next to. And then, of course, the main event, Anderson Silva versus Yushin Okami. And all I'm going to say is, basically, it was a clo uh, close in the first round. Yushin had him on the fence for a while. And then, like, near the end of the round, uh, Anderson caught him with a head kick. And then it basically dropped him, and Anderson went into a couple more for a couple more punches. 
ended up the round ended before Anderson could do anything. Basically, the whole second round, he just had his hands down. He was like kind of taunting Okami. I think he, I, I'm not sure, but I think he dropped him once. And then o- he let Okami up, and then he dropped Okami with a jab, just jabbed him, just dropped him, and then he got up again, I think, and then he hit him with a good one, dropped Okami, went down, finished him off with strikes. Basically, you know, Okami was like the last guy, middleweight, who people thought could beat Anderson. And Anderson basically picked him apart. There's like all these guys arguing in the comments to my prediction videos like, oh, you're stupid. Anderson's going to lose this one. Okami's going to win. Well, you never know what's going to happen, but I was sure Anderson was going to win this one. I think next for him is either Sonnen or Brian Stan, whoever wins that fight, or maybe Munoz if he beats Liebman. I don't know. There's not too many matchups for him. I just can't think of anyone. George St. Pierre, of course, but, you know, I think that's just going to be... I don't think that's going to be a very entertaining fight, honestly. Well, that has been my recap of UFC 134 Rio. Tell me what you think. Leave any comments or suggestions. Please like, please favorite, please subscribe. Tell me what I need to improve on. Tell me what I suck at. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.